good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day it may be for you. I am the Layback Gamer, and I found another bug. So, observe down here. Well, let's go ahead and blow this up a little bit. Observe down here. Now, I don't have Lanith in this deck, as it currently stands. Don't have her here. However, when I try to do this, she just clicks on her. Does absolutely nothing. It's almost... There's a left click, there's a right click. I'll do the same thing for speaker. So, right click, left click. Left click tosses, as you saw, speaker went to the deck. I'm left clicking this, can't add it in. Go to drag her in, because you can do that. Actually, I'll show it with Dathian. You can do that, drag it in, perfectly fine. Do that for Lanith. You can only have one cop. I don't have Lanith in the deck. So even though I really want to use my really awesome premium Lanith, for whatever reason the game thinks I already have one. Look, I'll toss that in. Now it's grayed out. Take it back out. No. Nope. Still no. Nope. Which means sadly I have to settle with less than okay. I don't know. Ever since I got this, I've never been able to go, go back. Point being of this episode, we are going to be having a stream very soon. By very soon, I mean Thursday. This Thursday, the... I believe it's the 4th of October, and it will be starting at 12 o'clock p.m., so noon, Eastern Standard Time. I lied about that. I meant 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, p.m., by the way. And basically what we're going to be doing is I have made five new decks, one for each house, and I'm going to just be going ahead and... Just playing it out there, just play, have fun, try to rank up, and quite literally what the Redoran, car, Redoran deck says, see what sticks. We're going to see what works. Now, each of them has a bit of a different theme. This one is, it's kind of mid-ish, because, well, it's not really mid, but I'm still used to four and somewhat three being mid. 50 car, 50% of, or 50. Not 50%, 50 out of the 75 cards of this deck are, as you can see, in the 3 to 4 cost. And we're going to see what happens here. Now there are a few interesting cards I've thrown into this deck, such as my Aspect of Here Seen. Not quite sure how well this is going to work out. Will it work out? Well, we're about to find out. Gentleman Jim Stacy because it's my premium gentleman Jim Stacy, and I wanted to have that in here. Uh, I even included Glad Gladiator Arena as a little bit of extra spice and some incentive to, yeah, opponent, you've got to hurry up or kill this, otherwise you're going to die eventually. And the False Incarnate to say, well, now you can't heal. So you just have to kill me or kill this card. Uh, big weakness of this deck is there is no health gain. Threw in a couple co copies of Quick, and by a couple I mean three copies of Quick Silver Crossbow, as I did decide to add in a few lethal creatures, mainly red in this deck, as you can see, with yellow dominating most of the late game. I don't think that it's going to work out so well, but we're definitely going to try. See what sticks. Well, it's a little more early game centric, but the idea of this is essentially Redoran trying to bolster the both boost the stats of their creatures um this one's probably also not going to work out but it will show me w what combination of cards is going to work out really well uh i have put in skyforge in here because i get I, I i have some cards just sitting around my collection that i haven't used in a long time and i figured well let's go ahead and try out skyforge I've even decided to bring back, uh, is this the deck with it in? No, this is not, so well, you'll see what happens with me, with what I'm talking about when we get there. A little bit of late game. Decided to throw in Amalexia for some reason. I don't know why. Actually going to make one slight adjustment. Sorry, but I prefer to have uh, the Vec in here, wherever he went. There you go. Um, not quite sure what this is going to result in. Probably a lot of losses. But we're just here to see what sticks. Got the sixth house. Had to make a dag off deck. And this one, 
kind of follows the same principle as the Halahu deck, except there are much more 5 and 6 cost cards, so this is a more of a mid-range deck. And as you can see, there is only one really late game card, and that is Dagother as a sort of a finisher off. I was debating putting in another late game. I'm actually going to go ahead and throw, throw the red year in, take the Telvas Magister out. Now we got a very late game board removal, which this deck is sort of lacking, but a lot of this is, well, a bit of counters, just some cards I wanted to throw together, and it is called the Sixth House. Easy on the removal, essentially the same deck, except I took out a couple of cards, took out sit a few cards out of this, and tossed in Amalexia, and traded one moment of clay, or not, I traded one review, or one of something. I think it was a Cursed Spectre for a moment of clarity, just to add, see what's in here. Not 100% sure what I removed. I know I took out cards that I didn't really see much play or didn't really make a difference in the long run. Yeah, here I have my premium Lanath, and I'm not going to take it out of this deck on accident. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to use my premium Lanath. And then lastly, I have an experiment. Okay, good. I did add it in. Um, as you can see, very disproportional. A lot. No one. Absolutely zero turn one card, so the best I can hope for is a handful of two costs in which to play. Essentially, I want to see if I can forge a... I'm, I'm picking Telvani because it was the last uh, house that I had yet to make, and I had wanted to see if I can use Namira's Shrine combined with as much magic gain as I can have in this deck to see if I could possibly make Dragon Mound work out a little bit better, because a big weakness to Dragon Mound is you lose all of your cards in your deck, and it get, they get replaced by dragons, which in some cases it's not a weakness, it's okay. Uh, the big down, the, probably one of the largest downsides to this is um, it can be very easy to play all of your dragons at once, and therefore you end up running low on a hand. So Dragon Mound here combined with a uh, couple little copies of Namir's Shrine. I put Altar of Despair in here to try to see if I can coax some characters out. It's not going to work for our one costs. Unless we go ahead and toss in a couple. Gonna pick Ungulum and our Morong Tong Aspirant. I get rid of, I think I'll go ahead and get rid of Tome of Alteration. Keep that, keep those. And I'm going to take out Lana. Gonna favor Lat Nakream for Lanath, even though well that's actually a that's a dumb move. I take that back. Lanath, you're gonna come back in. Please no! I don't have one! Let me use it! Let me use my awesome looking Lanath instead of this Eh Is I am not Oh, there! I can take out Silent Cobra. So yeah, this deck basically can we make Dragon Mound turn out a few cards a little bit quicker? Ultra Despair will obviously pull some out of the deck. There aren't going to be any one cost. There aren't any one cost dragons. I don't think there's any three cost either. Go ahead, take a look. Dragon. No, nothing in the zero. Nothing in the one. Oops, did not mean to do that. And just resume this back again. Dragon, no zero, nothing in ones. Uh, this. Well, there should be a custom fabricant here. Or not custom fabricant, uh, reflective auto automat. Or, uh, I don't know, it's a facto. It, I don't remember the full name, reflective something. It's a factotum that basically is every attribute in one. That's our two cost. I don't believe there's any three. Yeah, most of the threes are just cards that interact with dragon being played. So, nothing of use. We got Mystic Dragon. Uh, four. We got one dragons at five, so it should be able to pull them out. Six. Oh yeah, we got dragons. Dragons for days. Actually, 
Might want to double check here. Yeah, no, none here, and none here. And then obviously, a lot of our big, powerful dragons are coming in late game. And well, yeah, that's essentially the point of that deck. So, five decks, one stream date, again, on Thursday, October the 4th of 2018 at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can come out and watch, that'd be greatly appreciated. And, well, there's not too much left to say except for see you all then. Thank you everybody for watching. Leave a like if, you, leave a like if you're excited for the stream or just excited to see how well these are going to perform or, in probably my luck, how poorly these are going to perform. Uh, tell a friend that, hey, this guy is actually going to return to streaming. Yeah, it's that, it's that same guy I told you about months ago. Yes, yes, he is still playing this game. Cool. Do that. If you feel so up to it, I, encur I encourage you to do it. But you are not forced to. Or are you? Nah, I'm kidding. But are you? Nah, I'm just kidding. And, as always, until next time, ladies and gentlemen... Take it easy.